Hello, welcome to a video that is a bit more chill than I usually do because today I had some time after my midterms to just relax and not think about if I failed them or not and sit down and do some creative things. So I really want to fix up this binder cover that I have right now. It's really cute. I love it. I don't- there's nothing wrong with this cover, like it's really cute, it's very Ki Hyun-esque but this binder is becoming more of uh, just another Monsta X binder and the inside of this binder, if y'all haven't seen it before the inside of this binder is very much scrapbook-like because I said, you know what, let's make this a cute little scrapbook so I really want the front to match that, I don't know why, I'm just digging that type of decoration style right now so that's what we're going to do today we're just going to be decorating and i'll just be talking and yeah okay i'm gonna miss this we're actually gonna use some of these because these are really cute one thing i did want to mention now that we're talking about monster x is their new comeback i'm really excited about it like it's their third full album and y'all already know that the track list looks amazing. I'm so hyped to see what those songs are going to look like, what vibe they're going to be giving off. Also, the teasers, they very much look like vampires. I don't know if they're going to be vampires. They're very suit-esque. Let me tell you, when I saw Minhyuk, when I saw Minhyuk's teaser, I really thought he was a zombie until people started saying vampire. And I was like, yeah, that's that's kind of... That's a smarter idea, um, but the thing is, with each comeback, there's of course new photo cards and inclusions, which is going to be very exciting, but I'm kind of changing up a bit how I'm collecting this era, just because there's a lot of things to do, and I didn't have much money when pre-ordering, so I didn't really buy as much as I should have bought or as much as I needed and wanted to buy but yes let's talk about the comeback and how I'm planning on rearranging or organizing my photo cards while I decorate that way y'all are just not staring at me decorating because this is going to be a long process I really don't know how I'm gonna go about this so the vibe that this binder has is kind of a soft vibe kind of a ot7 purple-ish hue i know the inside is very blue purpley so i want to try and use more of those colors just so that it matches in the inside let me get these decals off of this polaroid this is also another freebie that i really love using i have the juhan one inside my binder and kihyun is orange so like there's not quite much color i can put in if i want to go with my blue purpley theme so we're gonna use Tenkyun. There's a lot of like stickers that I don't know if I'll use but most of these are freebies so thank y'all for giving me freebies. This I literally cried when I got this as a freebie in the mail. I'm definitely going to put that on my binder because that is the cutest little thing but yes I think I have all that I want to put on the front of my binder. I don't want it to be that complicated like on the inside but i also want it to be very cute very scrapbook like also very much sorry about this lighting and if this beam of light comes through this is the only time i had to film this because it's literally the end of the day but i really wanted to film this and maybe maybe it's a little aesthetic maybe it is <laughs> so while i'm placing these down i might as well go ahead and talk about how I'm going to be storing everything for this comeback because there is a lot of inclusions this time but yeah so they have four versions and there's one photo card per version in the album and then after that there's actually a lot of pre-order benefits this time around as well so for the pre-orders there is a hidden message card, a lenticular, and a poster, I believe, that comes with all of the albums. And then there's the 1-4 through four versions of the photo cards, of course. And then G Market has two pre-order benefits this time around. There is a clear photo that is six pocket size. 
and then there is a fatal love photo card that is a regular photo card size of course and then there's also this index card that comes in the album i don't remember if it's a pre-order or not i can't remember but that's the same size i guess it fits into the same pockets as the clear cards and then we, there is also a K-Town for You pre-order benefit because of their fan sign and I'm counting it as a pre-order benefit and not the fan sign photo cards. I don't know why. I'm just counting it as a pre-order benefit because on their website it says pre-order benefit on it. And then there is the Kino photo card and I'm so mad at Starship for making a Kino and not giving us full member sets like they always do so i'm only going to be collecting three members for the kino since it doesn't come in a full set and that's pretty much all of their inclusions so far that i took into consideration to actually store my binder right now there's actually like nine things that there could be there's the hidden message lenticular one through four fatal love photo card k-town and the kino which means i could have three full pages of photo cards and that makes me so excited if i actually put in the effort to try and complete this really fast because i did buy a lot more albums than i expected to buy but i'm really hoping that i get the chance to get all of the photo cards you know but if I want to have those three full pages, I'm going to have to do something a little bit different and like start a whole new section for Fatal Love because my Fantasia page is only a few photo card. There's only one space left on my Fantasia page and I would really, really like to have that Fatal Love page just be how it is and be amazing. So. I'm really hoping that I can get something like that or uh, I don't know what I'm trying to say but I'm also kind of thinking that if I do this I should rearrange all of my Monster X binder into like by era instead of like photo cards and that's going to be a huge mess but I'm really really thinking about it and if I think about it a lot I'm going to be doing it and you're going to be seeing a binder makeover in the future I guess. But yeah, that's just very exciting to me, this whole thing with the comeback. And there's a lot to talk about, but I don't even know if I explained it well enough to talk about it. Coming back to the actual binder makeover, this is what I have so far. I'm pretty sure I have every member on here except for Minhyuk, besides that one group photo area, because I can't seem to find any Minhyuk. So I'm going to look through my Minhyuk freebies and see if I can get a little cute minhyuk picture that will suit this little thing but i think this is all the big items i want to put and then we can decorate it with stickers and stuff which is going to be so fun okay i found this minhyuk transparent little freebie that i vibe with and this is just going to have to do for minhyuk i also have a bunch of minhyuk stickers so he's gonna be included in here anyways <laughs> but thank you minhyuk for appearing where shall i put you i already know that this is going to take forever to position this inside this little clear sleeve and i don't want to just tape everything out like this because then it's gonna be weird when i move it around and there's gonna be too much at risk of falling off so i'll see y'all when i move everything inside and when we put stickers on top okay that took way longer than i thought like the sun is literally setting right now and it's not even positioned how i liked it to be like this was supposed to be on top and this was supposed to be here but it was just really hard to stick everything because i didn't realize the tape would stick to the binder as i slipped it into the sleeve now we just have to do a bunch of stickers and washi and i don't know if i'll be able to put washi like underneath these first let's do this one because this is the sticker i was most excited for when i got it as a freebie oh my gosh this sticker is the cutest little thing look at them so i'm gonna stick that on here first also if any of these stickers decide that they want to just fall off that is not going to be allowed you are not permitted to fall off anymore okay 
The next thing I'm going to do is re-put these decals on here because I really love these decals and I paid a lot of money for them and since they re-stick everywhere, might as well put them on here again. So I'm just going to put them in random places. Y'all can be zoomed in for sticker placing detail. <laughs> So this is the placement of the decals. I have this two here, these two in the middle, this one over here, and then there is two next to Shonu. So now we can do a bunch of more stickers and I'm really excited about this. Y'all are just going to get this angle so I can actually see the placement of the stickers while I do them. That is the cutest thing I've ever seen. Right there. This sticker is so cute. Oh my gosh. But it's not peelable. I'm gonna have to cut him out. But yeah, now that I have quite the collection of stickers, I really just love using them and sticking them everywhere, especially on my binder because I know that I'll be using this binder for a long time. And even if I don't store photo cards in here anymore, like binders, as long as they're not in my backpack, like, and I'm going to school. Binders usually don't get that damaged. I hope this doesn't fall because it's so cute. It's just his head. Are you kidding me? And you can't even see where I'm sticking him. There he is. In his glory. <laughs> I kind of want to do bluish this one because he has blue hair in it and it would stick with my bluish purple theme even though this doesn't even look bluish purple anymore. But this one's too cute not to stick on so I'm going to use it. <laughs> I'm just gonna put him right next to Chankyun up here in this little corner. This one can go down here next to Kihyun. Now this isn't Monster X, but I absolutely love it. It's Jin Washi tape and he has a little octopus on it. So we're gonna include this somewhere because it's blue. So lucky you Jin, you get to be featured. Now this cover is already looking really cute, but the last thing I'm going to be adding are these stickers that I got. This actually came with two sheets, so I pretty much use this as much as I like, and then I think I'm just gonna save this sheet to look at because the stickers are so cute together. But let us see. I think the ones I really want to use is this pink minhyuk up here and this pink kihyun down here so that they match and it kind of ties in the pink from all of the other areas in this little place. This minyak can go down here with Juhan and Kihyun. And this Kihyun can go up here with all the other Kihyun. <laughs> and the last sticker I'm going to be putting for now is this one, which is the title of the sticker sheet. And I'm just going to be putting it on top of Kihyun over here. And I think that's it. I think that this will be done. Unless I get another cute little sticker and decide it belongs on the front of my binder. <laughs> this is a bigger sticker, so I'm just going to be putting it all the way inside the binder so that it sticks better. And then I think I'm actually going to move this key can closer to it as well. Okay, so this is what the finished product looks like. Very exciting, I know. It's just a binder cover with a bunch of stickers and it looks different, but at least when you open it, it matches a bit with the inside, even though the inside is a bit more crowded than the front. But I think it's really cute. It's very pretty. I really love all these stickers that I included and there's still room to stick more stickers if I even feel like putting more stickers on. But yes, I hope y'all enjoyed me just decorating my little binder and talking a little bit while decorating and how excited I am for the comeback and this little chill video. I hope y'all enjoyed and I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye now!